And you thought last year's team that won the national championship was loaded. This year's Texas team continuing to roll and a couple freshmen, three freshmen. We've got two of them in studio right now. A big reason why we have Chloe Collins, also Chiaco Obagu. Ladies, welcome to the Longhorn Network. What do you think? It's awesome. It's impressed. You're yeah. impressed, right? Yeah. Well, you know, Texas was so impressive last year. They win the national championship. They really only lose Shadare McNeil. You know you're entering a team with a lot of talent. Chloe, I'll start with you. What were your expectations for playing time? Um, my expectations for playing time, I didn't expect to play as much as I have been, but I've just been seeking every opportunity that I have to touch the court. What have you done to get on the court? Um, just going in and practice and knowing I have to practice hard and play hard and compete. Yeah, so practice is the big deal. We're going to get to those intense practices here in a little bit as we take a look at just all the highlights. It's been such a ball to watch you. Chiaka, let me get your opinion on this. You know, you're very talented coming out of high school. You knew you could play, but you also knew this was a loaded roster. Did you expect this much playing time? Um, not as a freshman. I think it's really intimidating coming in to a team who won a national championship and only losing one player. But I think the fact that the team was so welcoming and they made it an effort to make sure that we were all playing our best so they, really helped out. They really wanted you to come in and help them and not so much, you know, make sure that the freshmen know that they have to stay in their own place. Definitely, but hey, yeah. welcome to our place. Yeah. And, you know, uh, Chiaka mentions it a little bit. How have all those veterans helped you on and off the court? Um, on the court, they've just been a spark plug for us just to know that we can be confident going out there and competing because we know we came here for a reason that we can't compete. Right. What about you, Chaka? Same thing. I think they make a really big like deal of making sure that we know that we were recruited here for a reason. So they want us to do our best every day and just go in hard. You got all Americans. I mean, it must have been a little intimidating. You've got Bailey Webster and Haley Eckerman jumping 11, 12 feet. I mean, just phenomenal <laughs> athletes. Have you been able to look at their game and take anything away from their game, Chiaka? I think um, the one thing that I can take away is their confidence. So not so much technique, really. Mm -hmm. Haley and Bailey both like bring this huge confidence to the core, and I think it's really inspiring to like the rest of us players. Boy, what about you? Have you seen anything and gone, you know what, I'm going to add that to my repertoire? Oh, definitely. Um, I would have to say Eck, Haley Eckerman. Um, she's always fired up. You can always see the passion in her eyes, and that's definitely me um, when it can be a whiffer, <laughs> and I will just go crazy over that. So it's the intensity that you've taken, really? Oh, definitely. All right, well, let's get to that, that intensity, because Jared Elliott said during one of the scrimmages, he said, you know, this could be actually two top ten teams playing each other in terms of talent. Chloe, just how intense are these practices? Oh, intense. <laughs> I think your face just, facial expression oh, just said yeah. it all. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Um, practices are... Intense. I can't say it any other way. Um, they're hard. They're competitive. We're always competing for every little point, every ball we go after and we play hard. Shocker, have there been some practices that are maybe harder than matches? Definitely. Um, <laughs> what Jarrett was saying about the two top ten teams, like I can definitely see it in practice. And I think that's really good. It gets us ready for games. And just the fact that every single person on this team is super competitive makes it that much more fun. How much trash talking is going on in practice? <laughs> uh, let's, let's be honest here. <laughs> A lot. We do. Uh, but it's fun. It, it, like, it, it fun. keeps us going and it gets us really excited. And uh, Is there fun. ever a point where, uh, where the coaches got to say, all right, all right, all right, that's the line right there. We love the competitiveness. That's why we're number one, yeah. but let's hold it. There's been just little moments of that, but that's why like, yeah. our personalities, they gel together like that. Yeah. So. Well, the Texas volleyball team has not gone undefeated in Big 12 play. The last time Texas did that was 1995, the last year of the Southwest Conference. You are rolling. But, Chloe, is this something you've talked about as a team? Is it important to go undefeated in Big 12 play this year? Um, for us, that's just a goal we've set for ourselves. And to keep striving towards that goal for every match um, tomorrow against West Virginia, that's just another goal that we have to conquer them. So. Giaca, is this something that, that you all talk about maybe privately and that it's a goal? Man, it hasn't been done since 95. Let's do this. Nebraska did it four times in the Big 12. <laughs> yeah, I think it's like kind of in the back of our minds. Like everybody's thinking it, but mm -hmm. like not really to say it, not to put that like jinx on it, but um, we're working really hard and we're just taking it one game at a time. And I think if we do that, then we could be the first Texas team to do it. I was fortunate to be in Louisville for the Final Four last year. What an amazing environment. If you've never seen college volleyball live, you're really missing out. But what, what are your expectations? Because you guys have played in some big matches, but you haven't played in an NCAA tournament. What are you thinking here, Chloe? 
Um, I'm thinking I'm just going to take it all in. That's what I'm thinking. Probably and, smart idea. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and as we keep going, just embrace it, the opportunity that we have to possibly be in Seattle coming up. Chiaka, do you think the speed of the game is going to be, you know, a little faster, the windows get a little tighter? What are your expectations? Oh, definitely. I'm expecting it to be, like, really fired up. I'm expecting all of us to be fired up. But the same thing as Chloe was saying, just making sure we're taking it all in and embracing the fact that we got so far and we've worked so hard. This oh, a long way to go, but if you get to Seattle, yeah. trust me, the atmosphere right away, you will feel the energy. You're not going <laughs> to need anything to get you going. It's 16,000 plus, and it is a lot of fun. Okay, trying to repeat, you were not on the team last year. Chloe, why will this year's team win the national championship again? Um, I think we have a possibility of winning it again because of our potential, our athleticism that we have, our coaching staff, like we have all the components to win. So. And, and you feel like you're getting better as a team? Oh, definitely. The chemistry. How so? Um, as far as team chemistry, it's just every day in practice we're gelling together. You know, it's starting to flow. It's, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's starting to look really good. Chiaka, yes or no? Going to repeat? I say we have a possibility this year, too. <laughs> Same thing that she was saying. You're freshman, but very, very smart. Really enjoy watching you on the court, and good luck the rest of the year. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs>